So being a woman, sometimes pants don't have pockets. Sometimes they even have fake pockets that aren't real pockets, but they look like pockets. In any case, I can't really hold my Spyderco in a non-existent pocket. In addition, if I'm wearing a dress, I'm not gonna carry a big set of keys. I can't carry my Spyderco. So I was thinking, how can I carry a knife on me, a blade, or some type of weapon on me while I'm wearing a dress or while I'm wearing a pants without pockets? The first thing I thought of was Xena. You know who Xena is? She's awesome, Lucy Lawless, look her up. Anyways, Xena carries a knife on her bra or her corset. And I was thinking maybe they sell something like that for women. And I looked it up, there wasn't really anything. There was more like sheaths that would clip onto your bra. It didn't look very secure. It looked like it would be banging around your, your chest while you were walking. So I thought, yeah, I do. I have a small sheath knife in my collection and it's my karambit. <laughs> this is my neck knife karambit. And I used to carry this karambit around with me during my four o'clock in the morning runs and it would just bang around. Not to mention this ball chain isn't very secure. I'd frequently find my karambit on the ground somewhere. I can't do it, yeah. See, that comes off really easy. So let's get rid of the ball chain. And I was thinking, how can I affix this to something on my person without it being too like clunky? And I thought, why not on my bra? So here's my karambit and I was messing with it and I was thinking it could easily clip right here, easy for me to pull out, use a safety ring. If it was out this way, it would be backwards. I'm gonna take some jumbo bobby pins as well as some plastic cable ties. These are the small black ones. And then I'm just gonna try to attach the bobby pin to these two holes using the cable tie, just like that. And that should be pretty secure. So let me do that right now. These little points right here where I cut the cable tie can be a little sharp. Try to angle that away from your chest. And uh, I could always file it a little bit so it's a little bit more round or not sharp. So let's Let's put this on. Oh my god, it works! I don't think you could see it too. Yeah, buddy. Just so you can see how it looks like, uh, I got the most boring bra. So let me show it to you. It's it's freaking awesome. And you could honestly not really feel it. See? I would love to see guys give this to their girlfriends. They'll just be like, what are you doing? I'm not gonna put that on my bra. But some women will really appreciate it. Usually when women have to carry things on them, it's like a belly strap or thigh strap or something where, I mean, this is almost, I can't barely feel it. I could probably sit down. Yeah, I, I can't feel it at all. It's great. If you have a nice flowy top like this, then you really can't see it. And not to mention, I mean, if someone grabs you, I mean, you have your, your weapon right there. I'm gonna take this outside with me so you can see it in action when I throw it at my target. throwing these at people, that's just not what you do. The karambit's actually a very helpful tool. You can use it to clean fish, open boxes. Jesus, thanks Kansas wind. It's a very helpful knife to fit in any tight spaces. Like let's say you're trapped underwater in a car, you just cut your seatbelt, you know? It's, it's really a useful little tool. It originated in the Philippines and Indonesia, which is probably why I like it, because I'm Filipino. Check out karambit.com. There's this really helpful FAQ on that website. I'll put the link in the description. I highly recommend it for you women that want to be protected while wearing a dress. This is great. This will give you one leg up. Thanks for watching and I'll be working on more knife throwing videos. Bye!